Hello, and welcome to the Hive's PCB Design with KiCad video series. My name is Ben, and in this 15-part walkthrough, I will guide you through the basic workflow of how to design a PCB from conceptualization through part selection, schematic capture, and layout, ending with a final board design that could actually be fabricated. The last four videos in the series are not design focused per se, uh, but discuss good library management practices and model creation. In this video, we'll start with an overview of the series. I'll offer some goals for what we hope you'll take away from all of this and give a short biographical sketch about me, your host. Let's get started. So as I said, we'll start with a series overview. Uh, the first video will cover PCB basics and terminology. In video two, I will talk about the software, general concepts, and also introduce KiCad, as well as our PCB design workflow. Part three will be circuit conceptualization, as well as part selection. The schematic capture will be broken down into five parts. 4A, we'll talk about uh, introduce the schematic capture view as well as adding parts to that schematic. 4B, we'll talk about symbol creation. 4C, we'll talk about wiring and connecting your components together. 4D, we'll be assigning footprints to the various symbols. And finally, part 4E, we'll be uh, talking about the ERC or the electrical rules check. Then we'll talk about uh, layout, uh, also in three parts. 5A, we'll talk about the board setup, um, which is very important. 5B, we'll discuss placement and routing. And finally, 5C, we'll go through some final design for manufacturing or DFM checks and go through the DRC process. That will end the actual design portion of the series. Video six, we'll talk about symbol libraries. And then in the final three videos, we'll talk about footprints. 7A, we'll discuss footprint libraries. 7B, we'll discuss how to develop custom footprints from scratch. And finally, 7C, we'll discuss how to de develop custom footprints using the KiCad wizard. Uh, I've got four goals for this tutorial, primary goals. The first one is to introduce you to PCB design terminology so that you can understand the jargon, be able to have a conversation about it. Um, a lot of this material you will be, then be able to transfer the knowledge of to other PCB design software. Uh, it's more just a matter of figuring out where the correct buttons and menu settings are. Goal number two is how to demonstrate uh, the PCB design workflow. So how to actually design a circuit board from start to finish um, so that you can do this on your own. Goal number three is making custom models or how more importantly to locate pre-designed models online and integrating those into your um, software or into KiCad. And my final goal is to provide you with additional resources to allow you to figure out where to ask questions and find answers to those questions, how to ask those questions and where you might locate additional tools and techniques. Briefly, who am I? Um, as of this writing, I'm a seventh year PhD candidate in Ocean Sciences and Engineering program, and I'm desperately trying to graduate. Uh, my work is in developing a novel uh, ocean sensor and the accompanying instrument, which actually turned into a lot of development in KiCad. Um, and that is a critical, important point because I am not an expert. I am just have experience with the software. The experts are all going to be on the various forums and whatnot that you will ask questions of. And with that, we'll end the introduction to the series. A PDF of this video is available as well, linked in the description and hosted on the Hives Wiki. In the next video, I'll introduce PCBs and some of the jargon that you'll encounter on your journey through PCB design and fabrication. See you then.